Washington coach Heather Tarr, left, looks on as her team takes petting practice last Wednesday at USA Softball Hall of Fame Stadium. Tarr was one of four female head coaches leading their teams in Sunday as Women's College World Series semifinals. Photo by Chris Landsberger, the Oklahoman, for the first time since the Women's College World Series in 1990, the final four teams were led by female head coaches. The last four coaches to do it were Oklahoma State's Sandy Fisher, UCLA's Sharon Backus, Florida State's Joanne Graff and Fresno State's Margie Wright. Now, 28 years later, Oklahoma's Patty Gasso, Washington's Heather Tarr, UCLA's Kelly Anue Perez and Florida State's Lonnie Alameda led their teams to Sunday's semifinals. I just feel very prideful in just proving to our women that women can lead. Tarr said. Sydney Sherrill succeeding in first WCWS when the ball careened off Sydney Sherrill's bat, everyone in the stadium knew it was gone. Cheryl, a freshman second baseman on Florida State's softball team, began trotting to first base and eventually found herself back at home plate. She smashed a three-run shot to right center field, her second home run of the WCWS, this one giving the Seminoles a five-run lead in their eventual 12-6 victory against UCLA to help them advance to the championship series against Washington, which begins at 6 p.m. Monday, the Gatorade Oklahoma Player of the Year and the Oklahoman's Big All City Player of the Year in 2017, Cheryl, from Southmore High School, relishes the opportunity to make big plays for her team.